In this video, we're gonna talk about master valves. Now, if you've ever heard somebody say master valve, or you found an extra valve that's kind of by your backflow device, and you're wondering what in the world that is, most likely, it's a master valve. Now, every system should have a master valve on it. In the state of Texas, in order to pass an inspection, you've gotta have it. But it's also a good thing to have on your system as well. Let me show you an example of this system that we're working on here today. Now this system here, we've got a shutoff valve there. We've got our backflow device, which is a double check backflow preventer. You can see the installation of this up right here. And then right after our backflow device or double check, we've got a valve. And so you can see this, this is coming straight off the main line here and it's on, the master valve is always on the main line. And then it comes down here and then we're going into, this is the rest of our main line and it's going into our separate valves there. And then the pipes after the valves are called your laterals. And this, this main line is gonna keep going. We're gonna have a quick coupler valve over there, which you can, if you're not sure what that is, watch this video up here and I explain what a quick coupler is. But you can see very easy, you know, a lot of times you don't, you never ever get to see this stuff. So that's why I wanted to show it to you. But we've got a master valve on the main line here. Now what this is gonna do, when this is off, this part of the main line and going to these valves is not going to be pressured up. And so one of the things, when we get this quick coupler valve in, it will not work without this valve being on. Now in order to use it and all that, you can come over here, turn your solenoid, turn this master valve on manually, and then it'll pressure up the rest of this main line. But when it's just here, and this is all wired in and everything, these valves, you can't turn them on manually without this being on. But also, the system will not be pressured up until this master valve turns on. When you go to turn on zone number one, what the controller is gonna do, it's gonna send power over to this master valve and power to zone number one. So it's gonna power both solenoids at the same time. And it's gonna do that because Zone number one is not going to work until that master valve is turned on and it's opened up. And so the controller does this automatically. And if you're not sure, if you've ne if their master valve is buried and you're not sure if you even have one, you can look at the wires in the back of your controller and follow the wires. And if there's any wire in the master valve terminal, most likely what you've got is you've got a master valve on this system. So that's a very easy, quick way to find out if you've got one. So the controller is gonna turn this on, it's gonna open up, pressure up your main line, and then number one, which we on this system, this is actually gonna be number one, it'll pressure this up and then run whatever you've got running on that one. None of this is gonna work, even manually or anything, without this master valve working. So if you've got a problem here or if you've got a problem with one of these not coming on, but everything is good, solenoid's good, wires are good, it could be that the master valve solenoid or wire splice or anything like that, it could be the problem right here. Now, one of the main reasons you have a master valve is to really help prevent you wasting a lot of water. So if you've got a valve that sticks open with this master valve, it's only gonna leak or stick open as long as the system's trying to run. Because as soon as you run through one, two, and three, or four, or however many zones you have, then that mask and the controller shuts off, runs through all your run times, it'll shut off that master valve and it'll, it'll stop the water from running on that zone that gets stuck open. Or the same thing if you've got a leak, it's only gonna run, you know, any other kind of leak, it's only gonna run as long as that master valve is being opened and operated by that controller. And so it's not gonna run 24 seven and wasting a lot of water. That's one of the main reasons we have this. But of course, like I said, in the state of Texas, you are not going to pass inspection without having it. And so it doesn't really matter what the situation is. When you look at your backflow, you're gonna have your shutoff valve, your backflow device, then a master valve. My name's Kelly Staggs, and you're watching American Irrigator. If you like what you see, Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and then watch another one of these videos.